You were telling me some insightful stories earlier on of uh, of a time where you were young and impressionable and standing outside of Chrome yeah. and Black. Yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. the story, man. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, so basically, so when we when I was quite young, I was under the age of eighteen, so I would have been like fourteen to fifteen years old upwards. So it carried on for a bit, but yeah. Hmm. Me and my friend Rare, right? We got Rare, TTS. All tight, Rare. All day, cool. SMT as well. Um, yeah, me and Rare would sort of like, you know, collect our money together or whatever and be like, right, we've got enough for like a couple burners. <laughs> oh, no, let's just go there and hopefully we can get one. Super young, by the way. Yeah, Super yeah, young. yeah. 14, 15. And we'd sit outside the front of the shop. Firstly, we'd go in and sort of try our luck and get told to fuck off. Quite, quite poetically by Jan or, or, or Zom, we'd get told, nah. But they had a good point, you know. They'd make a point of the fact that people would be trying to come in with, with mm. fake IDs. BGP or Graf Squad were sending people in at that moment in time to get rid of them. You know, mm. and I do believe that was the case. That I was an era. That it was an era where the Graf shop was new and people couldn't believe that you could even buy paint. Like, mm. even to us, it was mad. Like, you mm. know, we came from realising, oh, yeah, we're going to rack and do this and that. But then when we said, oh, we can buy some paint, you know, it's fucking... It's, it's, it's still unthinkable now. When yeah, you like, there's brands out there that sell stuff that is for what yeah. we want to do. And we were like, but what we do is illegal. How can you... Mm. You know, so we were confused, but we would go to the shop and try our luck and get told, you know, no. <laughs> it's plain and simple, no. You're underage, <laughs> yeah. you're not getting it, boys. Like, you know, you're trying to buy cigarettes at the news agency. Yeah, yeah, shit. it felt like that, and it was horrible. But then we would sit outside and say, right, well, someone surely is going to bust us. No, like, people we'll... were coming up to you saying, no, fuck off, I'm not, I don't want to do it. Well, this is what would happen, yeah. So, so no idea who he's right as well, as so I wish I could, like, because, yeah. yeah, I'd throw in my two pence now, but I'd say, like... <laughs> Look at me now. Yeah, Look like, yo, can we... Can we get a little chrome burner, please? And mateys would just be like, fuck off your toy. And we would be sat there in shock looking at each other like, do we fight the guy or do we just accept it? Like, what do we do? So we just accepted a lot of it and said, all right, cool. But eventually someone would. And, you know, luckily, yeah, someone would eventually get us on. Like, we would stay persistent. Hmm. I think that's another thing that Graf teaches you, you know. Sit in that bush and wait. You know what I mean? Like, so... Sitting outside the shop to get your burner was nothing. It was like, cool, we're just going to sit until we get it. Yeah, but that era, that, and this is what's crazy, is like that era, you, it was double hard. Because oh. not only were the technology coming up where you were, it was really hard to go and paint on, on tracks. Yeah, of course. But yeah. then also, you've been told to fuck off because you're too young to get well, fucking well, burner. Well, if anything, I'll just say it's a good thing because it just made us rack harder. Really? So, like, yeah, like, because we just looked at it as like, we didn't have money like that. So like, we're young and, you know... You're sort of saying to your mum in the morning, like, oh, mum, like, can I get a couple of quid to go well, out Well, did it today? make you like, want to go and rack more? Yeah, because, you know, you ain't got enough to buy what you want anyway. You want to buy a few burners. You don't want to buy one burner and one colour and a black. What's it like, like when you see zombie now when, when you go to Chrome and Black? It, it, it's great, man. It is great. It fills me with joy because it's just like, it's good to see us both sort of like get to our places, if you know what I mean. Like, mm. I've come a long way from being that little toy that couldn't even buy a fucking burner to mm. like the point where I can now happily go spend a little bit of money on paint and mm. not feel too bad about it. Yeah, it still breaks my heart to spend 55 quid on a piece and look at it and think, mate, that just cost me a fortune. Like, But to see where he's come from it and the way he's going in things, it's like, it's magical. Because like, yeah. you know that you're part of something and he's continued a legacy, which I loved from the get-go, mm. like going in there and he wouldn't even tell me who he was at the beginning. Now, I'm looking into like business and perspective of things and how they work and I'm like, if you're running an operation like that in that era for a paint shop, mm. you can't be selling to kids. Yeah. You just can't from a business perspective. And I think that's like, I you can only hold him so much. high in respect because it's like yeah. you protected your business and your business still survived and Chrome and Black's still going. And I just think that's amazing. When I was in like year six or something, so I imagine that's, is that around that time, yeah, year yeah. six? Yeah. You know, I had this teacher, Mr. Baker, Bro, if you ever see this, Mr. Baker, I love you, mate. You're a don, like, honestly. There's always a good teacher a, behind a good yeah, student. Yeah, I can't lie. That. Sickest guy, yeah? yeah? He was like a New Zealander and all that, but he didn't love Graf. But he broke his knee or something playing rugby, and we got this, like, substitute in, which was his best mate. And he's come in like this wild Australian brother, and he's, like, on the last day, said to all the kids, like, yeah, it's my last day, like, fuck it. Like, you look and do what you want. I'll do everyone's name in graffiti if everyone likes graffiti. Hold on, he said that? Yeah. That's He's, one of the most coolest fucking was, things I've ever Yeah, it was so bro. sick. Like, I mean, you're in year six, you've got like a substitute. He's all like laid back, this Australian bro. If he like, could have weed, he'd be smoking it right now. Like, yeah, no fuck. Yeah, he was that kind of guy. Like, I don't give a now. fuck. I'm getting paid later. Fucking do what you want, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I was going to do an accent, but I would have just made, made myself look like a dickhead. No, I got so. you, man. <laughs> he come 
come in and said, look, I'll do everyone's little name in graffiti. And he literally said to everyone, do you want it bubble or do you want it like straight letter? Oh and I remember my. like sort of saying like, yeah, I want mine straight. And like everyone else caught sort of had a bubble and he done my name like, and he done all these flames in the background. And it was like, I don't know if you ever saw Graffiti Creator. No, like, no. Graffiti Creator when I was a kid in school was like this thing and you could just type in any name. Oh, and it yeah. generated. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And baby, his stuff was like, an evolved level of that with all the flame background. Very basic. I wonder what he wrote. I wonder what he's I'd love to have known because I didn't even know to say like, what Comment do you below. write? What, what's you know? the teacher's name again? Mr. Baker, yeah. Do you know this first this name? This was, nah. This was Pinkwell Primary School. So yeah. Come on, let's get it down. Get Mr. It. Baker on, a New Zealander, yeah. Hashtag that shit. Out. I'd love to meet him, yeah. Finding <laughs> Mr. Baker. So yeah, his, his, his mate come in and gave me this, this thing and I remember keeping it for fucking years. You know, like, and it must be in my mum's loft somewhere. Like, It just started from our youth centre, really, for me, like when it really become a heavy thing. So we were just constantly sort of doing it. And then by the time I got to my youth centre, we were all like a big group of us. Um, we're all tagging and whatnot, going to youth centre every week, just having fights all the time, whether it's with someone that ain't from the area, with ourselves. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> if something was going off, it was just like, we were a reckless bunch of kids. We didn't really know what we were on. We just, just crazy. Like, and we'd go here every Thursday and just map about. You know, breaking pool cues, breaking the Xbox, like just, yeah, just I mean. horrible. Like I look at it now and think, what is wrong with you? And you know, the, the the woman come up to us one day and said, "What do you lot want to do? Like, what do you lot interested in? Because you don't like football, you don't care about yeah, the game, you don't yeah. care about anything we tried to give you. It's what do you want to do? You've even tried to do music upstairs, and none of you do that properly. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> you even want to rap, but you don't even do that. So we're like, well, we just like graphics. Like, we want to do graffiti in it. Like, we like graffiti. And she's like, all right. So what do you need? We're like, we need spray paints. Like, we need all the stuff. She's like, we can spray them. We're like, I don't know. She's like, right, give me some canvases, get all the stuff. We're like, cool, do it. She gets us all the stuff. Everyone kind of knew what we was going to do. We was like, right, we'll get the paint. We'll do a couple of little canvases and then we'll just nick the paint in it mm -hmm. so we can do some proper stuff. <laughs> so like, we weren't even getting paint at this time. So we've done what we said. We've jumped over the fence the night after, nicked all the paint out the shed and just battered the road leading up to the youth centre. Oh like, the same road that goes to the school. Like, the paper like, trail begins. Here's our school. There's, there's, there's the youth centre. There's the school. And it, like, teachers it was... fucking melting in a seat. So, like, like, no, fuck. the teachers didn't know nothing because it was our youth centre. It was just outside of school. So it was just our own thing on a Thursday. But where we've done that, we've come back next Thursday and we've got to the door and she's at the door like, fuck off. You're not coming in. And we've gone, come on, man. She's gone, no. Nah, like, you've nicked all the paint. You've took the fucking piss go away, like, we don't want you here, like, you just horrible kids, like, we don't even mm -hmm. want you here, go away, and we were all like, all right then, fuck you, like, whatever, we're done, and then, like, after that happened, a few things were just going left in the area, we didn't go back for, like, you know, a month or two, or two months, mm -hmm. or whatever, and, like, a couple people died, and a couple people went to prison, so, well, what, what do you mean, died, how do you mean? Well, oh, right, so there was a kid that was from our area, unfortunately, something happened, and he ended up getting shot, and died, so, that's basically what happened. And it wasn't necessarily our circle, but it was around our area. It was our sort of older peers and things like that. Yeah. And then one of our mates did end up going, getting nicked and going to jail for something. So that's when it all just kind of turned for us. Like our, well, our childhood was just sort of rapidly, you know, it was changing. Yeah, Even yeah. for me, it felt like it was like, right, this is some serious shit. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're yeah. not used to that. Like, it's all run outs and knock down ginger right yeah. now. <laughs> like, and then it's all and tagging. People... And all of a sudden, like, right, like, my man just died. Like, so, like, wow. it was one of those sort of moments where we were all just dealing with it anyway. And then we come past the youth centre one day, just walking past, and it was a Thursday, and she was outside. Get in now. You know what I mean? Like, get, get in. All of us, like, now. Like, proper telling us off. We were like, all right. Mm. She goes, right, I've heard what's happened. I know what's going on. This ain't right. We're not going to kick you out. You come here now. Like, we want you here every Thursday. Like, please, just come here every Thursday. And we went, all right, cool. And she went, look, we can do the graffiti thing, because we know you look like it. We know you've tagged up the whole road, like... Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You obviously want to do it, but you're going to do it in here and you, you're not going to do that because yeah, that's, that's how you end up. Fuck, yeah, man. Like, I would love to know. I can't even, I don't remember her name. Yeah, you know, I can see her face clear as day, but yeah. I cannot remember her name. And I think now, like, she's probably my age now. You know, that's how old she probably would have been, like, late 20s. So I think, wow, like, what an amazing person, isn't it? Like, because she did not have to do that for nah, us, innit? Like, and she changed my life and a lot of all of our lives. Do you know what I mean? Without mad. a doubt. Yeah, yeah. So she got of herself, going down a different road. Oh, one million percent. Because there was only one way you were end, end, gonna end up. And I can touch on that because you know, that's happened. That's that's living proof. I can say that and mm. oh, what happened to a lot of my mates. So that happened, right? So she's pulled us in and gone right. I'm gonna get 
you lot to do some proper graffiti mm-hmm. with a proper guy. Like, we're going to do this properly now. Like, just don't fuck me around, basically. Yeah, yeah. And we went, cool. Do you know what I mean? And we actually went, like, cool. Like, we'd rather be here on Thursday, to be fair. Mm. We miss it, like. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. We did. And we all sort of took a step yeah. back and took it for granted and realised what we'd done, innit? Yeah. So that's what happened. And she brought in a guy called 32. A big up 32, innit? Like, this is a sick guy oh, from my yeah, area. okay. And um, 32, he does like, I think he does drum and bass and all that now. Like, produces a lot of stuff and metal heads and things like that. Like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, big up 32. But he was a serious guy at Graf. He showed us a lot 32, of things. 32, yeah? Yeah, 32, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously the piece in rings, but I don't know, it's a drum and bass. Well, I think that's what I got told recently. Yo, so someone I knew knew him said, oh, right. that's what he does now. You know what they do like, in the comments? Come on. That's insane. That's mad, like, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'd love to see him again. He, he, he came first. Is. He was the first guy to come to our youth center and he gave us all outlines. He'd done like an alphabet thing for us. And that was like, you know what I mean? Proper sick. And Yo, I was she not was taking it you. seriously, man. Oh, she bro, was bringing like, she people went in. in. And 32, I'll come to realize later, it was from my area. He was fully from my area. So that's why he got drafted in, obviously. Someone of someone said, like, yeah, mad. get my man in. Yeah. He ended up doing like the barber shops in my area. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when you saw like graffiti in the area, yeah. you knew it was hard. a 32 kind of thing. Yeah, hard. But I used to get on a U4 bus and at the back, yeah, everyone that knows these old buses, had the little screen at the front, you know, the big screen. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. He, everyone he had this big three two just scratched in deep That's white. So, so you know what I mean? It was like he, <laughs> he was solidified for us. Like we knew who he was. And when we met him, we're like, Legit. you're three two. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's me. We're like, yeah, that's three two. You know what I mean? Like kids like gas. So yeah, that's how it went with that. And then he done his thing, but no discredit to him, but he didn't teach us enough. Like he gave us a great platform. Like he gave us all these letters and these alphabets. And I went away and tried to copy them on the wall and they were fucking shit. Mm. <laughs> they were absolutely it was like awful. just like go and get on with it kind of thing. Yeah, like they were just like terrible. Like literally like terrible. So by this point, so sorry, I changed tag by this point now. So I'd write in D5, D-E-F-Y. Mm-hmm. Now I come to later change that because of D5PS. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's because of idea. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, that's why that happened. So anyone that's already thinking it, I've said it. <laughs> we changed it for that reason because when I saw D5's panels, I was like, I've got to stop writing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to stop. This is he's levels. I wish some people would do that. They, you have to. I was ma- young. I've done a lot on. with that tag and really was like gutted. You you were, I you thought were, I found yeah. a cool name because I was like, yeah, you defy, you defy an assistant. You know, I went through yeah. the dictionary and found it and went, yeah. But when I saw his and saw it with the IE, I was like, oh, Can't he even do done it, it better. He even wrote it better. I was like, just stop. Yeah. And like, yeah, so that's what happened with that. So by this point, we're writing this tag now. We're doing that. Done our little session with 32. Went well. Good. Learned a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then she said, like, a couple months later, like, right, we're going to get someone else in now. He's going to come and do all of the murals inside the basketball court. Because we had a little basketball court thing that was Damn inside. Yeah, basketball court as well. Oh, it's fucking sick, mate. I'm telling you, like, I look at it now and think, Jesus, man, that, it's shut down now. So it, it breaks my heart, like, that you've sent us a gone now. Because this was yeah. literally a gem. You had a classic, recording studio upstairs classic. that they made for us. Like, yeah, yeah. you could record music in it, like. Sad. It? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, oh, I hate this gong because I'd work there now for free. No, they're shutting down. I, mean? I would. I'll be that guy grabbing kids in now, like, mm. get in. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So that happened. And she said, right, we're going to do some graffiti murals inside the basketball court. We're going to get this really, really good guy in. And we were all like, all right, then. Like, yeah, cool. I missed that first week. I didn't go on that first day or something. Who was it? So I've gone back the next week and everyone's gassing me now when I've gone back to the block. Like, yo, like, this guy is seriously sick. Like, like this is something else. Like, you're going to love this one. Like, trust me. I'm like, all right, cool. Come in, I walk in, we sit down on the chairs and we'll wait. And, like, and he's just come in and he's just looked at everybody. He's looked at me and he's gone, ah, so you're defied then? I'm like, nah, what's going on? And he's like, yeah, because you, you're, you're the most tags I see down the road. And you're the one I've been waiting for. He's like, I heard what you lot have been doing. And we're like, what the fuck's going on? Like, so yeah, nicking your paint from people that give it to you. Not right, mate. Bang out of order. You don't steal from people that give you paint. You take it from home base. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it like, and that was like the pivotal moment for me that really connected and I went what does he mean he goes you don't take from people that give to you mate like you don't do that it's wrong you take from home base they got enough pain you mm. know what I mean and he's like you might get chased by security but you, you're young like you, you'll be alright I'm like what the fuck is this man telling me this grown ass man I'm like alright cool and then he's like right alright prime <gasps> And he's done this, like, you know what I mean, absolute burner of a tag on a whiteboard. I'm just like, what? And then he's done WRH. And me being a cheeky little shit, I've gone, what does that mean? He's like, we rock hard. So, you know, that was it. You know, that was... Big up Prime. And, you know... Hard. Yeah. We rock hard. Yeah. It was one of the moments. And he slapped a load of graffitisms on the table. And that was my first time I tore a panel. You know what I mean? Like a proper panel. And was like... What the hell is wow. going on? Like, what graffiti belongs on this? Like, not, not on the road. Like, no, nah, mate, you do it on trains. This is what it's about. I was like, 
yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is what it's about. And I felt like out of all my friends, like I was the only one that really, really, connected. really felt like that. I really said like, yeah, this is this is what I want to do. And, you know, the next couple of days I said, we're going to rap paint, we're going to fucking Greenford Hobbycraft, we're getting our chromes. I'm doing top to bottoms in the subway because we would just paint our subway all the time and say, don't say well, me. I'm, I'm curious, <laughs> I'm curious. Like, you know, this is like the sperm going to the ovary, right? It's going to the egg. <laughs> What's yeah, the law of average? Is, so yeah. how many of your friends were there at the time? Oh, bro, there was loads of us, man. There was a good like, 11. So what, 11, maybe there was one or two us. of you that really got it and connected. and they Yeah, were, yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. Like, yeah. Deed, uh, Reese, be like Reese, he wrote Deed. And Deed used to have this sick one line with the Ds, the link, and go straight into the E, and then straight into the other E, and straight into the other D. And it's Yo, the same D and well. the same E and E. Yeah, 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 and we yeah. were young, man, and he had, like, the best style. I saw like, that with a, I saw that with Doze. I think Doze did that once. Right. Another re, we rock hard fucking Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bro, like... And that big up Prime, because, you know, there was another, back when back in the day when I was getting into hip-hop, a guy called Rec, R-E-Q, from right. Fuckest Stoppist in Brighton. He came to my my uh, youth centre, because, you mm. know, I was... Just, but he also bought his MPC. He bought all wow. his... You know, it takes where those was this? this it's, ain't... Yeah, this was in Sussex. This was like... This is what Sussex. I'm saying, but there's people out there that just genuinely want just to do give yeah. back with what they're doing. Yeah. And if they don't, you don't get what I got. No. And that's... The only way I got it. Because yeah. if I didn't, who knows what I would have done? Yeah. I probably just would have been doing the subways and haze and been like them guys. Like, yeah, I used to write. Yeah, I used to write. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I used to do a bit of tagging. That's what it would have been. What a beautiful story. So, you know, it's, those people are so important. You know, like Prime is, you know, mega important to me because like he opened the, the doors for something that I wasn't completely aware of. <laughs>